lift up mine eyes into the hills from whence cometh my help.
Just like the plagues in the old days. Yeah. Once, you, once you took care of it, it was taken care of. Yeah. And we see it done. And we thank you for these things. In your son Jesus' name, amen.
4036 Ward Boulevard, Wilson, NC 27893. Or you may stop by the church office on Sundays between the hours of 12 noon and 2 p.m. Those who are here with us today, you're encouraged to leave your offering as you exit the sanctuary at the service or go to the website. Amen? Amen. Please continue to, to pray for our healing list. Uh, if, if there's someone else on the list I don't know of, but uh, this morning we were, we're lifting up Sister Rachel Freeman and our pastor. He continuously needs our prayers for his health issues. Amen? Amen. Please note that Sunday school, the Sunday school summary is prepared each Sunday by Deacon Janet Underwood and is shared on our Ohio Callings Facebook page. Amen. 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 All right, now it's time for the preach word. Woo! Hallelujah, hallelujah. Our speaker this morning needs no introduction. He is our pastor, an anointed man, servant leader, that can and rightly divide the word of truth. So at the two selections from the choir, you will hear from our pastor, Reverend Dr. John Melvin Wooten. Hallelujah. Please receive him by stretching your right hand toward him. Preach the word. Preach the word. Preach the word. Preach the word. Allow God to use you.
Hallelujah. How wonderful it is to know that God's got everything that we need. And what's, what's, what's so good about it is he is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. Amen. So that means if we would just pray and seek the Lord, then God will give us what we need. To him be all the so that we give honor to God today. We so glad, amen, to be in the number one more time. We're just so thankful, amen, for yes. the spirit of the Lord in this place. Yes, yes. And see, I don't know about y'all, amen, yes. but there's something to me about being in the sanctuary. Yes. Yes. Hallelujah. I, I, mean, I mean, I'm just saying, you know, I, I, I can go anywhere in my house and pray, and I know God hears my go to my secret cause. I, I can pray with folk on the street. It doesn't make any difference, but there is something. Amen about being in the sanctuary, amen, yes, yes. amen, something about, about, about just being in this room, yes. amen, that says to me that I am in the presence oh. of a holy God, yes. hallelujah. hallelujah, I don't know about y'all, but I want to be in his presence, because I found out that in his presence yes. is fullness of joy, yes. amen, to God be the glory. So we thank God for this choir. They have sang beautifully in our hearing. We thank God for them. Amen. Certainly we also, amen, thank God for our ministers of the gospel who are here with us on today. Amen. Uh, in the congregation, amen. That is uh, Reverend Christine Adams. Amen. Would you just put your hand up, Reverend? Amen. Reverend Christine Adams is here. Amen. Reverend William Bush is here, amen. amen, and way in the back, yes. amen, Reverend Doris Roberts, yes. amen. amen, we thank God for her in a special way, thank God, amen, for our presider, amen, amen. Reverend Valerie Jones, amen. amen, we thank God for her, <clears throat> also we thank God for Reverend Jenkins, amen, amen. amen. wave your hand, amen, amen. And then Reverend Jenkins, we thank God for her. Thank God for uh, Reverend Lefty Whitley. Amen. And we appreciate him. Amen. And we thank God for my whole bowl of sugar. Amen. 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 Reverend Patricia Amen. Wu. Amen. 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 We are blessed. Amen. Yes. Today. And we thank God for that. Would you pray with me? Mm -hmm. yes. Father, in the name of Jesus, we do thank you now, God, for this time of sharing what you have given us. And God, we evoke your spirit, Lord, that you might send the word through your spirit that he may bless us today. Oh, God, touch right now by your mighty power. For we need a word, oh God. We, we need to hear from you in times like these. And God, for that, oh God, I am available today. And we ask that you would use me to your glory. Yes. Please, God, remember Miss Betty Pleasant. Amen. Oh, God, as she prepares to go to Boston for the next three weeks. Yes. God, we put a prayer hedge around her. Yes. Oh, God, in the name of Jesus, and we bind the enemy, oh, God, who may come against her. But we decree and declare victory and protection over her right now. In the name of Jesus. We also lift up Miss Betty Fetter. Amen. Oh God, we realize, oh God, that you are a healer. Amen. There is nothing too hard for you. And it matters not what the doctor may say. Oh God, we know, oh God, that you can speak a word and turn every situation around. Amen. And God, we decree and declare healing on her right now. Amen. In the precious name of Jesus. We bind the enemy. We bind hurts and pains and infections or whatever it may be. We bind it in the name of Jesus. And we decree total healing on her behalf. God, we tell you, thank you. Oh, God, in the name of Jesus, we ask this in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Before I go any further, amen, let me just say to you that we are thankful for your presence in the sanctuary today. Now, I know that... 
wearing a mask can sometimes feel like it's smothering you. It does to me anyway. Yeah, yeah. Amen. So we ask you that, that if you are in the sanctuary, please wear your mask. Amen. 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 If the mask gets uncomfortable, amen, would you please step into the lobby? Amen. amen. Give yourself some breathing room. Amen. Amen. Feel better and then come back to the sanctuary. Right. Does that make sense? Yeah. Amen. To God be the glory. And we are thankful. Thank you, uh, Sister Linda Norcero, for bringing that to my attention. Amen. Because I just been suffering. <laughs> Amen. Like the rest of y'all, I guess. Amen. But God is good. Amen. There's a word from the Lord. Amen. St. John, chapter 8. Just one verse. St. John, chapter 8, verse number 36. Where you will find these words. If the Son, therefore, shall make you free, Jesus, ye shall be free indeed. Yes. Would you turn to your neighbor and say, neighbor, neighbor. Oh, neighbor. oh neighbor, I don't know about you, I know about you. but I will celebrate my freedom. My freedom. Amen. Amen. God bless you. Yes. God bless you. You may be seated in the kingdom, in the house of God. For uh, fault this morning, y'all pray, please pray with me today. Amen. Celebrating your freedom. Yes. Jesus. Celebrating Amen. your freedom. Now, in the preamble to the Constitution of the United States, it is stated that in order to form a more perfect union, that the United States would have to secure the blessings of liberty to ourselves and our posterity. Amen. However, it seems to me that people of color have been excluded from that part that says ourselves and our posterity. Amen. The liberty referred to is a constitutional right mm -hmm. for some Americans, while others must fight for that liberty tooth and nail yeah. against other Americans yeah. who would love to keep black and brown folk in bondage. Yeah. And, and, and if not physical bondage, then in bondage to fear and oppression. Y'all gonna pray with me? Yeah. True freedom is hard to come by yeah, yeah. in times like these. Yeah. Paul said that the days are evil. Yeah. Amen. And it's hard to feel free when you know that our own Supreme Court yeah. is assisting in the attack on voting rights and legalizing voter suppression measures yes. Yes. that make it harder for minority voters, you know, who tend to support Democratic candidates. Those measures make it hard for minority voters to even cast a vote. Mm -hmm. Beloved, the days are evil. Yes. And the reason that I feel so strongly about this is because all of my life, I have been told that every law-abiding citizen of this country has the right to cast a vote yeah, right. for the candidate of their choice. Right. Are y'all in here? Uh -huh. Well, guess what? I am a law-abiding citizen. Yes, 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 I am a black guy. Yes. But still, I am an American citizen. Yes. Amen. I was born in America. Yeah. Amen. I was raised an American. Amen. I served my country in the military. Yes. Yes. I paid taxes yes. just like every other American. Yes. And I deserve I not just deserve, but I demand yeah. the same 
freedoms that other Americans had. Amen. How many know that it's hard to celebrate freedom mm -hmm. when you know that your freedoms are being challenged every day that you are alive? God help me today. Oh, it is hard to celebrate Independence Day when other citizens want to keep you in bondage. Listen, the Constitution provides for freedom for all Americans. Yet, there are some Americans who must continue to fight, continue to struggle, and continue to believe that one day we too will be free. Amen. But how many know that as precious as it is to enjoy freedom as an American, it is even better to enjoy the freedom that comes with being a believer in Jesus Christ. Are y'all in this house? Yeah, look, we sing a devotional song that says, I am free. Amen. Praise the Lord. I'm free. Say no longer bound. No more chains holding me. My soul is resting. It's just a blessing. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I'm free. That song speaks to every human being's desire to be free from whatever might enslave them. Yeah, yeah. Amen. That's what freedom really is. Yeah. It's the idea of being liberated yeah. from whatever it is that holds you captive or that's got you in bondage. Yeah. And I need to tell you right here and right now that all of us in this house have been in bondage to something or somebody yeah at some time or another in our life. Amen. Am I right about it? Amen. And you know what? Some of us are still in bondage to something right now. Oh, but the good news of the gospel is that if you are a believer in Jesus Christ, amen, amen, then our Lord's ultimate sacrifice, our Lord's finished work at Calvary has redeemed you from the curse of the law and you have been set free Hallelujah. from your bondage. Hallelujah. Amen. Yeah. And the text teaches us huh? that if the Son yeah. has made Ooh. you free, yeah. then you are free indeed yeah. from whatever it is that's binding you. Yeah. But wait a minute here. You do understand that in times past, all of us was in bondage. Yeah. yeah, all of us was enslaved, amen, to sin. Amen. And Jesus knew that. And that's why he said, if the Son therefore makes you free, amen. Are you in this house? Yeah. In other words, you used to be a slave of the devil. Uh -huh. Amen. Amen. You did what the devil led you to do. You were in bondage to him. You could not help yourself. You were powerless against the devil. In fact, whenever you tried to do the right thing, you found out that it was much easier to do the wrong thing. Oh, but then the Son of God set you free. And then from the power of the enemy and from the chains that had you bound. And today you can testify, that is if you are saved, that in Jesus there is freedom. In Jesus there is grace and there is mercy. In other words, in other words, I used to be a slave, but now I'm in Jesus. I used to be trapped in a life of sin, but now I am in Jesus. Yeah. I used to be mean and nasty, yeah. but I thank God that his son loved me so much yeah. that even while I was yet a sinner, yeah. Jesus died to set me free from the power of the devil. Yeah. 
And I came to tell somebody today that when you surrender yourself to Jesus the Christ, when you open your heart to him, when you invite Jesus into your heart, then the Lord will come in, amen, and change your life. In fact, he'll make everything like brand new. But the Bible says that if any man be in Christ, then he is a new creature. The old things are passed away, and behold, all things are become new. And when you give God the preeminence in your life, Son Jesus, then when you look back over your life and see how bound up you really were, you will understand that the Lord has set you free. Is there anybody in higher calling today who knows that you've been delivered? Uh -huh. He just keeps on coming back. 
and he's got something different for you every time he comes. But the Bible says that our adversary, the devil, is as a roaring lion walking to and fro, seeking whom he may devour. In other words, the devil wants to bind you up all over again. He wants to re-enslave you. And he'll use every trick he knows to get you back in bondage. Oh, but I hear God say, If the Son therefore shall make you free, you shall be free indeed. I'm about to go to my seat now. But is there anybody in here today who will celebrate your freedom? Because you know that Jesus has made you free. Yes, yes. And right now, you can say, I am free from sin. Yes. Because the blood of Jesus cleanses me from all sin. Yes. Ain't God a good God? You can say, I'm free from fear. For God has not given me the spirit of fear, but of power and love and a sound mind. Yes, you can say right now that you're free from failure because you can do all things through Christ who strengthens you. You can say, I'm free from lack. So my God shall supply all my needs according to his riches and glory in Christ Jesus. You can tell the Lord. God, we realize that there are temptations to do wrong. Temptations to not give you all the glory that you deserve. Temptations to walk contrary to your word. Temptations, oh God, to doubt. But God, we call upon you right now, oh God, to reassure us on a daily basis that we are free from the power of the enemy and that we can walk in freedom 
and celebrate it every single day. Help us to realize, God, that what other folk think about us is not what frees us, but what you have done for us. That is what frees us. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, amen. Amen. And amen. To God be the glory. Have you heard this message today and you want to know this God who sent his own son to set you free from sin and to give you eternal life? Then I offer you the chance to get to know Jesus in the pardon of your sins. Hallelujah. Can I tell you something? God knows you. He knows who you are. And he loves you. He loves you enough to change your life for the better. Yes. If you want this change, then say this prayer with me. Holy Father, I am a sinner, but I want to be saved. I believe in the life, death, and resurrection of your son Jesus. And I accept Jesus into my heart as my Savior and my Lord. Save me now, Father. In Jesus' name. Amen. Beloved, if you said that prayer with me, you are now saved. Amen. You are now set free from anything that has bound you up. Amen. To God be the glory. And I want to welcome you to the family of God. Amen. Welcome you to know your sisters and your brothers in the Lord. Welcome you to walk with us. Amen. Welcome you to amen, serve with us. You would like to be a part of the High Calling Baptist Church family? Please contact us through our Facebook page. Listen, beloved, maybe you heard the message and you are already saved but don't have a church home. Or you realize that you have strayed away from Jesus. Well, Jesus still loves you. Amen. And he wants you to have a cup. I invite you to worship and serve God here at How to Call About the Church. If you decide to do so, please contact us through this Facebook page. At this time, we're going to prepare to administer Holy Communion. And I ask those of you who will be partaking with us in the sanctuary to please prepare your Holy Communion kits. Those of you who are at home, if you do not have a Holy Communion kit, please get what is available to you. Get some bread, get some juice. Amen. And put it before you. Amen. If you don't have any juice, get some water. Amen. Get something. Amen. We're going to thank you. We're going to have Holy Communion. Amen. <clears throat> you have your kids. Listen, St. Paul reminds of us of just how serious Holy Communion really is. In 1 Corinthians 11 and 27, he said, Wherefore, whosoever shall eat this bread or drink this cup of the Lord unworthily shall be guilty of the blood body and the blood of the Lord. But let a man examine himself. And so let him eat of that bread and drink of that cup. For he that eateth and drinketh unworthily, eateth and drinketh damnation to himself, not discerning the Lord's body. For this cause, many are weak and sickly among you, and many sleep. Paul says, he says, let a man or a woman examine themselves. Amen. Amen. You know you. Amen. You know if you have unrepentant sin in your life. At this time, we're going to pray a prayer of examination and ask God's forgiveness for those sins that we just keep holding to. Father, in the name of Jesus, we come now, God, as we prepare for communion, realizing and knowing, oh God, that we have sin yes, yes. in our lives. Some of it is unconfessed and some of it, God, we just cling to. Now we're asking you, God, to help us. You have already set us free. Help us to walk in that freedom. 
in the name of Jesus. Break every curse, break every bond in the name of Jesus. Help us to walk worthy of our title of Christian, believer in Jesus Christ. Do this for us, God, that we might be found worthy vessels to receive the body and the blood of our Lord. In Jesus' name, amen. Please take the bread from your communion kit. Take the bread. You have the bread, St. Mark 14, 20 says, and as they did eat, Jesus took bread and he blessed it. Dear God, our Father, thank you for this bread which represents the body of Christ, which he willingly sacrificed for us. Bless us now as we eat this bread in remembrance of your son and his love and sacrifice for us. In Jesus' name, amen. Then Jesus break it, and he gave it to them and said, Take, eat, this is my body. Please eat the bread. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now please take the cup from your kid. Let's pray. Holy Father, thank you now for this cup which represents the blood of Jesus which was shed for the remission of our sins. Bless us as we drink it in remembrance of your son. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Verse 23 says, And he took the cup, and we had given thanks. He gave it to them, and they all drank of it. Let us drink it together. Thank you. Thank you. Hallelujah. Then Jesus said to them, This is my blood of the New Testament, which is shed for many. Verily, verily, I say unto you, I will drink no more of the fruit of the vine until I drink it new in the kingdom of God. Amen. This concludes our worship service today. Thank you so much for worshiping with us. Our prayer for you today is that you will grow in the grace and the knowledge of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ as God leads you, directs you, <clears throat> and guides you, amen, in this low land of sorrow, amen. We pray that he has his hands on you. Now, if I can ask you all to stand, we will be dismissed. Your hands. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face to shine upon you and be gracious unto you. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 God bless you. We are dismissed. Thank God.